Welcome back children. Let us continue with the line wise paraphrasing of Act 3, Scene 3 of The Tempest. We begin from line number 37. It is Gonzalo's speech. Who though they are of monstrous shape, yet note their manners are more gentle kind than of our human generation, you shall find many, nay, almost any. He says that if I say that the natives of this island, they have monstrous shapes, but the manners are kinder and more gentler than those of many people who belong to the human race. Such statements, if they are made by me, would not be believed by anybody in Naples. Prospero aside, now he speaks softly to himself so that they cannot hear. Honest Lord, he says, Honest Gonzalo, thou hast said well. You have spoken very truly. For some of you, their present are worse than devils, because many of you who are present over here right now are more cruel than the devils themselves. Alonso, I cannot too much muse such shapes, such gesture and such sound expressing, although they want the use of tongue. He says, really it is, it is impossible to wonder greatly at such strange shapes, at such gestures that they make with their hands and the sounds, the way they express themselves through their movements and the sounds. Although they do not speak, they want the use of tongue means they do not speak, but they are expressing themselves very well with the movements. A kind of excellent dumb discourse. It is like they are conveying what they want to say through a very, very explicitly uh, performed dumb show. Prospero aside, praise in departing. He says, don't be in such a hurry to praise them. Francisco, they, have, they vanished strangely and just then they disappeared. So Francisco says they have disappeared in a very strange manner. Sebastian, no matter since they have left their viands behind. He says it does not matter if they have disappeared as far as, as long as they have set, left the food behind them. For we have stomachs because we all are really hungry. Will it please you to taste of what it is here? Will you be, will you please to taste what food they have left behind? Alonso, not I. He says, no, I will not eat. Gonzalo, faith, sir, you need not fear. So he says, have faith, sir, you no, need not be afraid. When we were boys, who would believe that they were mountainous, dew lap, lapped like bulls? He says, sir, you need not be afraid because when we were very young boys that time, no one would believe that there existed a strange kind of mountain people dew lapped like bulls whose throats and hanging at them wallets of flesh. So there were these kind of mountain people who had flesh hanging around their throats and which looked like bags used to carry the tools like wallets of flesh to carry the tools. Those masses of flesh gave those people a look of the bulls who have lumps of flesh hanging to their necks. Or that there were such men whose heads stood in their breasts. So there were certain, no one believed us at that time that there were certain kind of men whose heads were in their breasts. Which now we find each putter out of five for one will bring us good warrant of. But now we find people, we hear, we shall hear such stories which are told by the travellers abroad who go abroad, who have brought back proofs and evidence that, that really these kind of people are there in the world. Alonso, I will stand to and feed. He says, well, I will stand and eat, although my last, even though this will be the last meal of my life no matter since i feel the best is past because i feel the best past part of my life is over brother my lord the duke stand to and do as we as we so he says brother my lord come on brother gonzalo you also follow our example and eat 
thunder and lightning enter Ariel like a harpy. Now, harpy is a mythical monster which has the body of a woman and the wings and the claws of a bird. So, Ariel appears like a harpy, claps his wings upon the table and with the quaint, quaint means a very clever device, the banquet vanishes. So, he just claps his wings upon the table and the banquet disappears. Ariel you are the three men of sin whom destiny that hath no to instrument this lower world and what is in it he says there are three men among you who are sinners who whom he calls the three men of sin whom destiny that had to instrument this lower world that is this world of ours and all that that there is in it are the instruments in the hands of destiny the never surfeited sea hath caused to belch up you he says it is destiny which first caused the sea to swallow you and then throw you up the sea has vomited you up and on this island where man doth not inhabit and you were thrown up by the sea on this island which is not inhabited by anybody you amongst men being most unfit to live because you are the people who do not deserve to live among human beings i have made you mad he says i have may converted you into mad men and even with such like valor men hang and drown their proper selves he says now the courage that you possess is just the courage of a mad man you now have only a impulse which makes humans kill themselves you have that feeling of killing yourself by either hanging or by drowning yourselves alonzo sebastian they draw their swords so they take out their swords you fools i and my fellows are ministers of fate he says you both fools are addressing alonzo and sebastian that i and my companions are the instruments of fate or the instruments of destiny the elements of whom your swords are tempered he says the material the stuff of which your swords are made may as well wound the loud winds they cannot inflict any wound on the loud roaring winds or with bemocked at stabs kill the still closing waters and these swords with your stabbing they cannot even wound the waters which are going to merely close up unhurt as diminish diminish one dowel that's in my plume and the your sword they cannot even hurt a single soft feather in my wings as my fellow ministers are like invulnerable and my companions like me are unconquerable if you could hurt your swords are now too massy for your strength he says even if your swords had the capacity to hurt anyone at present they are too heavy that and you do not have the strength to lift them up to strike us and will not be uplifted you do not have the strength to lift them up to strike us but remember for that's my business to you but he says remember my work my business over here was to come and tell you this that you three from milan did supplant good prospero exposed unto the sea which hath requited he says it was my work to come and tell you that three out of you from milan you threw prospero out at sea and now the sea has repaid you the sea has now punished you for your evil deed thank you